guys got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at the fourth figure of TFC's Aerial Bots. Well, not Aerial Bots. Um, this is <coughs> Harrier 2, a.k.a. Uh, Slingshot. And the cockpit wasn't all the way down. Um, so first of all, I am using uh, my cell phone to do this. I got a new cell phone with a better camera. So hopefully I can get them all in frame and not have to uh, do any crazy tripoding you know, to get, get everybody in frame. But here he is. In his vehicle mode, as you can see, he is a Harrier jet. Uh, this is very, very similar to Phantom. With uh, It's basically <clears throat> incredibly similar in robot mode. Um, basically, the shell is probably about like 80% the same. And then it's just basically a uh, remold retool to get it the rest of the way to Harrier. But uh, he is an Harrier, a Harrier jet, which is a you know, vertical takeoff and landing. Uh, he does have these funky landing gear that are very long, which are... Uh, accurate to the to the plane and they have these channels in the wings so you can actually fold if you don't like uh, <clears throat> if you don't like this look you can actually fold these up in those channels and then flip out he has knee wheels and that actually does level him out more Whoop. that levels him out more because when you have the, the other the wing landing gear on uh, down he kind of lifts up a little bit more it's just personal preference um, you know you can do it either way it doesn't really matter and these wheels are completely removable the same pegs as uh, as they all have in the wings he does have uh, they look like fuel pods but you know, I guess they're supposed to be missile pods but whatever but you can they're under the wings uh, you could take these off and put them on the closer pegs if you want it's the same peg but he is a very very nice looking jet I do have a paint splotch right there Hopefully it'll focus. 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 There we go. Sorry, just getting the hang of this. Uh, you can see a paint splotch right there. It's not the end of the world. I'm not going to really pursue getting it. Um, <clears throat> getting it replaced for that, but... Uh, he also does come with pegs to cover the screw holes. So it makes it a little bit more cohesive. But yeah, let's get this guy transformed. You can see... Six shot, uh, six shot, slingshot. Right there. Very cool. Uh, it doesn't have the dirty thrusters like the others have. See the thrusters right here. There's really no, uh, jet wash or anything coming off of them. But, uh, out on the code, canopy. I shouldn't have just, I just cut my fingernails. So I don't think it will, oh, there we go. Cockpit does open. So that's... And it's got a little uh, radar or whatever antenna in the front. Very cool. So let's uh, get this guy transformed. So we're going to go into uh, limb mode. This guy is uh, left the left arm. We'll start by just taking the weapons off. Uh, fold up the landing gear. Fold up the nose landing gear. Uh, it does transform very similarly. But we're going to start by um, taking the wings off completely. So you want to lift up right here. Tabs in. Right right there and then pull it off put down the side same thing on the other side pull it off put them on the side left with the fuselage very similar to uh, to phantom just raise this up a little bit we're gonna start we're gonna take lift up the cockpit and lift up the tail bend him at the arm and then at the cockpit, lift up the middle piece, like so. Uh, fold it up on the double hinge, make this together. Same exact way as Phantom. It's two slots and two pegs. Peg that together. Come over the arms. Peg onto the side. There's a hole right here. Peg right there. Lift them up and out of the way. Uh, we'll do the legs first, and then come back to the wing, to the arms. Uh, I like to split the legs first. Oh wait, we're doing limb mode, aren't we? I forgot. Leave the arms down. Just fold up these portions, the outside panels, and then I like to um, oops, go down. I like to pull the legs out a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll just split the legs anyway, like I said. I like to extend the legs, basically all the way first. Then we'll take the fist, which is the exact same as the left fist, as the uh, right fist, but it's a left fist. 
So it's exactly the same as the other one. Peg it in on the inside. There's a groove with some pegs. Peg it together. Um, then I like to collapse it and then pull it out a little bit. There's um, those two gray lines I kind of use as a reference, as, the, as a guide as to how far I want to go. But as you can see, that gives him his elbow. Make sure the fist is pointing the right way. And come up here, pull, lift up the, lift up the head, pull down. Make sure this flap is folded down. I had it folded up. Show that again. There's a black flap right there. Make sure that's folded down. Get in there. Fold the connector bit down. I like to turn the head sideways so that's facing the back of the figure so you won't even see it when it's combined. And there we have our mode. Uh, hands are, this, the hand, like I said, is exactly the same. Articulated in one joint. You can karate chop if you want to. But yeah, there is his arm mode. Oh, wow, I'm not doing too good today. I forgot about the wings. Wings, what I like to do, this way, yeah. I like to peg the wing on like that, and then fold the, uh, the wing tip over, such that, put the painted bits on the inside, and then slap on the missiles. So we're basically going to give him underslung missiles. As opposed to Phantom who's gonna have them on the top of the forearm. So he'll have them on the underside. Again, the wings you can do uh, any way you want. You can put them up here. You, know, you can swing or there's a million ways you can put them. You basically figure out a way you like them and connect them up. So yeah, uh, they also fix the ratcheting hip issue. It's not squeaky anymore like it was with Phantom. So yeah, there we have Harrier all limbed up. So, not much else to say about him in limb mode. I almost said limbo. <clears throat> in limb mode. So let's uh, get him into robot mode. So from, from limb mode, we're just going to pop the wings off again. Put the legs, take out the hand, extend the legs till they click, rotate them at the waist so that they're facing front, flip the feet and rotate them, give him his feet, stand. Same problem as Phantom, he is very back heavy so it's hard to get him to stand, but uh, when we attach the wings, we're actually going to give him a lot more stability. Okay, so we'll come up to the top of him. Now we're just going to pull the arms away, bring the shoulder panels down like that, lift the head up, fold back, connect a bit. There we go, fold the head down, rotate it to the front, flip up that chest panel there to fill in the connector bit. And flip down his hands. And there is basically the main portion of him in robot mode. And then we're just going to come over to the wings, pop the missiles off, uh, fold the wings up in half. And there's this hole right here where the, the missiles were plugged in. There's a peg right here where the wings plug in. and Basically, we're going to plug that into there. You can, if you want, plug it in a million other ways. You know, the regular peg hole, if you want to use this peg, is right next to it, so you can do that if you want. But, so you just unpeg that. It's really up to you. But um, what's good about pegging him in this way is it gives him ginormous heels, and he's rock steady now. Um, the holes for his missiles on his forearms are much higher up 
then on say phantom phantoms are in the middle so when you plug them in they're actually in a nice position they're not uh, <clears throat> they're not you know too far forward so we'll just peg these on and here we have Harrier in his robot mode get him back so you can see him in frame so yeah right off the bat the one you will notice the one flaw well the one big flaw and that is the chest and this the waist it's basically square 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 flat and then this little tiny bit of crotch piece and then round hips so it is a little bit weird but I mean there's not a whole lot you can do because it's basically the character animation model but it does look funny in physical form uh, it's not the end of the world but something that's just the one thing that I always noticed uh, it does have rocket pods or whatever if you pull down the intake vents or whatever you want to call them so uh, he does have that but other than that here he is take a look at his look at his face really like the head sculpt and he does actually have some pretty nice light piping very cool very very cool uh, he is a lot more stable than Phantom mostly because of those wings as heels but I do really like that but yeah as far as articulation he's basically the same as everybody else he's got bull jointed head um, his head lifts up for the transformation and for the connector port Shoulders have the upward rotation on the inside, and then under that, in and out. Cut at the bicep, bends at the elbow, um, just in and out at the wrist, no, no swivel at the wrist. Waist uh, swivels, universal ratchets, universal joint with a ratchet at the hip. Cut above the knee, bend at the knee. And ball joint, double joint, well, a swivel and a ball joint foot. So, yeah, uh, he's a little plain overall. Like, he doesn't scream cool. He just kind of is a member of the aerial bots. So, you kind of have to have him if you want Superion or Uranus. But he's not like crazy or anything special. But. I mean, overall, I do like him. Uh, I, I think he probably has the nicest uh, alt mode. Mostly because I always liked Harriers. I don't know why. Even the British Jet. But, I don't know. I always liked Harriers. But, there he is. I do really like... I, li I, I do really like... I think he is the best looking in alt mode. But, uh, he's probably the most plain looking in robot mode. So, yeah. Uh... One more figure to go. We got Falcon coming up, and then uh, hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to do a full review of Uranus. So yeah, this has been the video review for TFC Toys Aerial Bot uh, Falcon 2.